you know thing simply eating a lot of a uh, lot of something and specifically not eating uh, something doesn't make your child uh, brain iq go from you know 50 to what 250 or you know going with from uh, uh, 100 to 300 or something like that you know so there is nothing as such a magical food or you know as something magical that you can do to you know make a baby's brain or you know i will say brain health uh, to be better right so first thing you need to understand this fact is that it's a multifactorial approach food is a part of it yes of course food play a important part but food is not at all uh, you know responsible for baby's brain health in fact other co curricular uh, activities i will say like you know uh, visual stimulations you know uh, i will say you know making the baby like is simply saying like uh, giving preparing them for the motor milestones like you know uh, we everyone is aware uh, aware of the thing something called tummy time you know it prepares the baby for the upcoming motor skills or upcoming motor fine skills so the point here is that brain health or brain development is uh, you know it has multiple points multiple factors interlinked with each but this is uh, there is also uh, a thing to highlight here is that yes if i will say that there are no certain food that can uh, totally you know change the brain health but yeah there are definitely some foods then uh, that if you are not if your baby is not having that in adequate you know amount or adequate quantity uh, it can affect the brain health the the, the developing uh, brains you know uh, health and if it comes to example you know whenever your baby is growing uh, we we like uh, uh, thanks to google and you know thanks to the marketing team of the formula feeds uh, we have seen a lot of emphasis or you know parents coming to us saying dha 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 so first thing dha is important yes it is but it is not magical you know it is not about that if your baby is getting too much of a uh, dha he will become albert einstein and if he is not getting much of a uh, dha he, he will uh, you know become dumb there is nothing as such you know so point is food plays a role not entirely but yes interlinkedly so as we were uh, like th- uh, discussing food what food or you know what food habits so definitely when whenever, whenever Uh, the baby is growing baby is growing as a whole you know so certain nutritions certain uh, proteins certain amino acids are very uh, important for the baby right they uh, directly not influence like uh, uh, you know influence the baby's health or baby's uh, brain health or like baby's uh, de- brain development but yes their deficiency or i will say their inadequate amount can definitely lead to some organic problems that ultimately interferes with the brain's you know health like an example a simple example i can give you here is an iron deficiency anemia right an iron deficient baby ultimately tends to become anemic anemia ultimately leads to baby baby being you know irritable baby being fuzzy and uh, you know baby being lethargic baby is not uh, uh, you know indulging in any kind of stuff or even sometimes we have seen uh, let's say uh, deficiency of vitamin d or let's say the deficiency of uh, calcium baby is not able to uh, attain, attain the you know uh, motor del- motor uh, milestones that ultimately leads to baby's brain developmental being hampered so more than giving something in uh, you know particular the mess- the message should be that it's the deficiency or it's Uh, you know a particular nutrient deficiency or protein deficiency that is harmful for the baby rather than you know uh, it it is in the way that giving something will help it down but still i will say protein rich fruits uh, foods i will sorry protein rich foods uh, as well as omega acids you know that is uh, that can be easily found in fish and fish related products like right uh, vitamin d uh, calcium iron as i highlighted so basically it is more a balanced diet that can help a baby rather than giving a baby particular food right here i am ha- giving an example our indian household uh, have a very you know bad tendency 
of eating a particular kind of oil right let's say uh, if we just go some uh, you know by some demography uh, this, uh, the south uh, indian population have a more tendency to consume coconut oil you know as a as their primary source of uh, oil you know in the north india if you come across there are uh, these refined oils uh, i will say peanut oils and you know all this kind of oils you get you know multiple and but the problem is some household uses some typical kind of oils right so what that does is that as we all know uh, every oil let it be mustard oil let it be coconut oil let it be olive oil let it be any type of oil some way or the other they are lacking some particular kind of amino acids as particularly we speak about let's say mustard oil right two type of uh, um, essential amino acids are lacking in there right so what that ultimately can do is that if the baby is being uh, uh, you know offered the food that the family is having and he is also being uh, getting the food devoid of uh, devoid of that you know two essential amino acids ultimately that can lead to deficiency and can hamper with the brain growth right so a mix of oils let's say you use olive oil as well you you use mustard oil as well you use some in some particular amount very less amount desi ghee also right so point is ki uh, it's uh, your uh, diet should be balanced instead of uh, uh, offering a particular uh, you know food let's say uh, another another thing that uh, you know an example can be given here is like uh, if we offer some food to the baby let's say we offered a broccoli right very common problem indian parents coming ki broccoli nahi khata hai right so a very common problem right so the problem that usually uh, happens is that a parent usually offer broccoli to the baby once or twice or let's say thrice and that to in a day you know in a in one day span you make uh, some pasta or some broccoli you know vegetable uh, in the morning and you try to give it to the baby multiple times but in a single day right and ultimately by the end of the day you label that that the baby is you know not liking the broccoli right and you ultimately uh, get the broccoli out of the baby's diet so the problem is that so basically up uh, also a lesson here is that before uh, assuming or making an assumption or making a decision that the baby is not liking a food baby is not meant to have that food you know baby is not uh, uh, comfortable with that food is you should offer that food five times at different intervals at different days you know before offering a food five times at different interval and different days and still like uh, if the still baby is rejecting it that means that baby didn't like broccoli right? totally fine and this applies to every food you know this applies to every food let it be any food another problem we come across in the diet is vegetarian families right as we all know b12 is a, a very important and vital uh, you know vitamin for development as well as you know for adults also b b12 is a must right vegetarian families specifically if i talk about giving giving an example the jain families who don't even consume or the vegan thing you know those who have gave gone vegan they don't eat uh, like uh, non veg in any form they don't eat egg they don't even eat, consume milk in any form you know and we as we all know b12 source are these three things right so b12 is totally ruled out so a simple in a simple if i summarize it a simple message to the moms to the parents is give your baby each and everything and of course in a quantity wise manner and before uh, taking that food as rejected or before taking that food as not liked give them five times on different uh, like different intervals on different days right sometimes it can happen that you are always giving it like let's say you made some upma for the baby and you are always giving it in the morning right baby decline it maybe because in morning is the time that he don't like upma totally can happen right give it at different intervals he it may be a thing that he likes uh, upma in the day time like not in the night time right so these are some simple things so keep it simple in terms of diet 
try to be uh, you know in, include try to include as many variety as you can in terms of oils in terms of fruits in terms of veg in terms of non veg and of course protein are the building blocks you should always be aware that baby is not protein deficient or nutrition deficient right simple crux is milk whether it be milk whether it be meat whether it be green leafy vegetables anything everything baby's diet should be consistent like should be consisting of each and everything of something right